Hey guys, welcome to Hip Hughes History. We're gonna take a moment to cover the Truman Doctrine today because it's really important and many historians consider it the beginning of the Cold War. The Truman Doctrine was announced to Congress on March 12th of 1947 and uh, we'll basically sum it up by saying that Truman is basically asking the United States to adopt a policy of containment, meaning that we're going to have to send either financial or military aid or get involved in countries that are under the threat of an armed takeover of communists. Now you have to kind of put this in context and, and keep in mind that there's a lot of things going on in post-World War II, not just Europe but also in the Middle East. Uh, Soviets are um, not pulling out of Iran like they're supposed to. They're not holding free election in Eastern Europe. There's a lot of mumbo jumbo going on about um, the borders in Germany and how that's being divided in Soviet influence in East Germany. But in 1947, there's a couple things that are giving the United States a little bit of the ants in the pants. One of them would be in Turkey. And Turkey is a very strategically located nation that's sitting right on the Mediterranean Sea. And the Turkish Straits give access from the Mediterranean Mediterranean Sea to the Black Sea, where the Soviet Union is located, and the Soviet Union would like nothing more than have access to the Mediterranean and also to be able to get influence in Turkey and the Middle East where there's more oil than you can shake a stick at. So that's number one. And Turkey, their not best friend is Greece. Greece and Turkey don't really get along, but strategically they're both really important. And Greece has a democratic government, but it's being threatened by a rebel group of communists. Now, while the Soviet Union gave when you want to say spiritual support to the rebels in Greece. They weren't really giving um, hardcore financial and military support. That was coming from Tito in Yugoslavia, which is sort of like a satellite state of the Soviet Union, even though Tito, the leader of Yugoslavia, wasn't keen on the Soviets controlling Yugoslavia. But that's neither here nor there. In 1947, before Truman gave this speech, there was a state diplomat named George Keenan that was based in Moscow, who wrote wrote something called the Long Telegram, which basically outlined a strategy for dealing with the Soviet Union. He basically said that the only thing the Soviets understand is force, and that Stalin and the communists and the Soviet Union were inherently bent on expansionism, and any type of soft diplomacy, of cooperation, of talking it out, was just not going to work. So Keenan is arguing that the United States needs to provide at the least financial aid and military aid, if not um, direct military support, for countries that are under the threat of Soviet influence and Soviet takeover. And it really doesn't matter whether or not that country is a huge democracy or not. We're going to find out that later as the United States is going to give support to regimes which aren't that democratic, like South Vietnam. But Greece is in the midst of a civil war, and if the Soviets take over Greece, you know, Turkey is probably the next step, and if they can get through the Turkish Straits, Greece is probably the next step. So it's in the strategic interest of the United States to do something. So what is this package going to mean? It's not going to be direct military involvement, but rather financial and military aid, first to Greece in the sum of $400 million and about $100 million that's going to go to the Turks as well as the FDR aircraft carrier that's really going to put the kibosh on the Soviets' plan to get their foothold in the Middle East and into Greece. So the Truman Doctrine is going to work in Greece and in Turkey a couple of years later with the formation of NATO, a collective security agreement with our allies in Europe. They're going to be um, really secure because because they're going to have the support of everybody in NATO to fight off Soviet influence. We also are going to have the Marshall Plan coming up. There's another video on that, but billions of dollars to Western Europe, again, to contain the influence of the spreading red menace, the Soviet Union. So we hope that you understand the Truman Doctrine and really the beginning of the Cold War and the policy of containment, that there is an outbreak and we have the medicine and it's the United States. So giddy up for the learning, guys. We hope that you learned something. We hope your brain's like 10 times bigger, and we'll see you guys next time that you press my buttons.